They're running away from someone. They stole the cute <laughs> outfits that they're wearing right now. What is up? It's your boy Sebastian here with Leading Man Attraction. Welcome to another video. Today, I am going to be sharing with you a breakdown of an infuel that I did a while back. And this one is very interesting because in this one, I approached two girls that were on a run in the streets of London. Now, if you're new here, I'm a pickup coach. I share my pickup stories with you guys. And I also teach guys how to actually approach girls, how to get over approach anxiety, uh, how to meet new people, how to open, how to flirt, how to text, all of the things that come into the dating world i kind of share with you guys and give you some tips on the way that i'm going to do this is i'm going to break it down into specific sections so you're going to see a little bit of the infield that i'm going to come back to me i'm going to tell you about the verbal stuff that i did here and the non-verbal stuff and why i did it and how it helps me in the interaction and then i'm going to jump back into the infield again you're going to see some more jump back to me and that's how we're going to do this thing so without further ado let's jump right into the start of this interaction two seconds i promise fuck you girls are crazy how are you doing this We've got to get on back. this busy fucking street i know high parts just there so we're like so you're like fuck it today is sunday we're gonna go run yeah what are you I, it was you were so fast i was like they're running away from someone they stole <laughs> the cute outfits that they're wearing right now they stole the cute outfits and now they're fucking running away. Oh and I felt like the security guard, everybody's like looking at me like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> this is so random. It's like a scene from a movie. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's your, what's your name? Hi. Nice Hi. to meet Nice to High five. Nice to meet you. <laughs> High five for the running. High five. So here you've just seen the start of the interaction, so to speak, the open and you know, the opener is extremely important in my opinion because it can either start you off with a good reaction from the girl or a bad reaction from the girl so if you're speaking to two girls what you want to do is you want to engage them both so you can see that i called out the situation you know the absurdity of it all me stopping two girls in the middle of the street because let's face it i'm a little bit bigger than the girls you know, I could come off as a little bit intimidating chasing the girls down. So I call out the absurdity. I, you know, kind of almost uh, pretend that I'm tired, right? I'm, I'm really not, but I'm pretending to be tired, to be chasing the girls down. I call it out, I make it funny, I make it playful in order to relax the girls, to ease the tension. Uh, you know, my body language is open, my eye contact is good, to relax the girls, to make them feel safe, like I don't want anything from them. I just want to meet them and have some fun, right? That's all that I'm doing here. I'm making sure that the girls feel relaxed and that the girls want to talk to me. That's the point of the opener, to bring out a reaction from the girls. If you're not bringing out any reaction whatsoever, you're gonna make it hard for yourself after the open. At the beginning, my tonality is all over the place and that is done on purpose to add to the absurdity of the situation and to add to the spontaneity of the situation which is why you see me panting, which is why you see my tone going up and down and all over the place. It is to add to that spontaneity and to that absurdity and add to the joke. Maybe you've noticed this in your own approaches. If the girl gives you a good response, she'll be more talkative, uh, she will uh, be more engaged in a conversation. And it's the same when you do two sets. If you get a positive reaction, you'll notice that you will also become more relaxed after the open and it'll be easier to strike up a conversation. If you don't do a good job on the open and your opener is weak, you get no reaction, the girl might be a little bit apprehensive, maybe a little bit distant, then you'll notice that the approach is gonna be much harder to navigate. Now, if you don't get a positive reaction like I did here, what you have to do is stay non-reactive and just continue what you were doing until you get that positive reaction, until the girl relaxes, and then you continue with the conversation and you'll see that as it goes on, if you stay congruent with your behaviors and you don't actually leave too early, the actual approach will become better and better as it goes on. But you have to stay in the interaction. I want you to make it your mission that if a girl is still there, you don't leave okay i see this so many times where the guy gets past the open doesn't get a positive reaction and then just says okay have a good day bye 
the girl is still there don't leave continue you know have that conversation and notice that my body language you know i'm in a position where both girls can see me and i can very easily engage both of the girls that is crucial you don't want to close off one girl so you don't want to face the girl that way and then the other one is like right here because if she is then she'll feel left out and she might get a little bit defensive she might pull the other girl away right and then the set is over so you want to engage both girls that's the way that i do it anyway that was the open you know that's how i did it in this situation to ease the tension to relax the girls to have a little bit of fun a little bit of playfulness in the opening in order to start off well but let's get right into the infield again and let's see what happens next i'm sebastian nice to meet you my heart is still racing and I really truly, I gotta exercise more. Um, what are you doing today then? Today, I'm meeting a friend and my friend um, is that way. Okay. So I was going to meet him and then you were running by and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> they're, not pro they're probably not crazy crazy. Hopefully they're good kind of crazy. You know, but, you know whoever's running on Sunday in, in like nothing pretty much on yeah. your arms. I mean, you look very cold as well. Oh my yeah, God, you're all red. Cold. You're all red yeah. as well. Yeah. Are you girls okay? Yeah, we're good. We've just got to get to half. We got to do half a marathon. So. Half a marathon. Yeah. Oh, you didn't want this one today. There was one today, right? Um, there's one at the end of the month that we're running. Oh, you're but right. We were like, shit. We actually need to start <laughs> running now. Yeah. So. No. Nah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you're quite active then. Very healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Trying. Trying to. <laughs> that's good. I like girls that uh, take care of themselves. You know. You yeah, know, if, if somebody takes care of themselves, it means that they're. Uh, you know, fun to hang out with. If somebody's just always sitting on their ass, like, mm, uh, yeah. no adventure, no fun, say, you know. This guy does not stop. <laughs> like, really? Yeah. More, more. Yeah, uh, both of you. So here we actually get into logistics and just the standard style of conversation. Getting to know each other a little bit. What are you doing? Where are you going? What's happening? Just vibing, you know, just getting to know each other a little bit better. Uh, and this is kind of how most interactions will go. You'll open with something fun and playful, right? That will start you off in a good way. And then you'll get into logistics. You'll get into the standard conversation of getting to know someone. And after that, you just vibe. You know, you make sure that the uh, vibe is always positive when you meet someone new. You know, whether that is a girl, whether that is a, a, a guy that you want to be friends with, whoever it is, you want to have a positive, fun interaction while getting to know each other. And because I know that these girls are on a run and they are training for a marathon, I know that I'm not gonna have an insta date with them. You know, they were on a run after all, so it would be pointless for me to say, you know what, let's go grab a coffee. So I don't linger on that. And when the girls actually say, look, we kind of have to go, I say, okay, that's cool. And then I start to close. So let's go right ahead and see how I finish this interaction. I'll come back and I'll give you some final pointers of what I did, why I did it, and how you should be doing it as well. Yeah, we're gonna head like right No, in. absolutely. Yeah, listen, I don't wanna stop because I know you're training for the half marathon this month. Um, I'm gonna go and meet my friend, but how about this? Um, I'm actually leaving London tonight, but I should be here maybe in a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. Maybe you ladies wanna go for, uh, for a smoothie. I don't know, like uh, something healthy. Possibly, we'll keep yeah. it, we'll keep it, we'll keep it healthy so I, I can get a six pack as well. <laughs> And maybe I'll do the marathon. You can convince me. If you convince me to do it, it'll be amazing. There you go. Yeah. Okay, if we, if we give you our Instagram and then we'll, we'll have. We'll do Instagram? Okay, yeah, cool. Um, and then you can see that I'm not a complete <laughs> fucking random. To be fair, like, credits to you stopping two sweaty girls <laughs> running. Like, fair enough. <laughs> it takes balls, right? It, I uh, definitely think so. But I think you are a bit crazy. Right I'm now very, we're not looking our best. I'm very spontaneous. I'm very spontaneous. Uh, I kind of go with the flow. Girl. What is this? Is this like uh, so you got water in there or? It's my phone. Oh, it's, it's your phone. Oh, keys. okay. That's very uh, yeah. professional. impressive. Professional and also, is it this one? Did you add it yeah. or? You did, yeah. Cool. Yeah, we'll be in touch then. Yeah? Okay, cool. Have yeah. a good rest of your day. So yeah, bye. That was the end of the interaction. In the end, I took an Instagram because what you'll notice if you do a lot of approaches is if the interaction is below five minutes, a lot of the time the girls will actually want to do Instagram. Uh, simply because giving out their personal phone number is just a little bit too personal, okay? They don't really know you well enough yet. So taking an Instagram is not a loss, okay? You can still text the girls on Instagram, you can still take them out. It's very simple. You do the same thing as if you actually got the number. And this actually helps the girls to understand who you are 
through Instagram. So Instagram can be a very useful tool. You don't have to have thousands of followers as long as you have some pictures that show your personality, show you doing fun stuff and some stories that they can browse through if they want to, okay? Because girls will actually check those things out and they will raise your value as long as you do have something positive on Instagram. Now you may have noticed that the girl actually also gave me a compliment. And the compliment was that she uh, said something along the lines of uh, prompts to you for, you know, approaching two sweaty girls, right? And I say, right, that takes balls. So I'm raising my own value, but I'm not doing it in that kind of way where, you know, I say, oh, look at me, I'm really confident, right? It's not like that. She paid me a compliment, I added to it, and then I moved on without making a big deal out of it. So if you get an opportunity to raise your own value after getting a compliment, you can, or you can just simply accept the compliment and say thank you, right? Either way is okay. Now you'll also notice that one of the girls was far more engaged than the other one. You know, once that girl actually started to give me her Instagram, I kind of talked to the other friend, I asked her a question so that there isn't an awkward silence. And, uh, you know, I like to do that in two sets or in group sets because it makes me look like a more socially intelligent person. And again, I avoid a awkward silence. So it's just something that I do, something that you might want to incorporate into your sets if you're doing two sets or group sets. I didn't get to meet those girls uh, specifically because, you know, I do a lot of approaches. I have a lot of leads. I can choose who I want to meet and when. So, you know, when you have abundance, you get that luxury where, you know, you can kind of just pick who you vibe with best, who you want to get to know more. Just finally, on the non-verbal side of the communication, which I believe is very important, it's very key that you feel good in an approach. If you have a lot of approach anxiety, you know, if you feel very anxious when you approach girls, you got to get through that. And the only way to get through that is to actually approach a lot of girls and get used to the uh, kind of system of, of picking up girls, right? You have to do it consistently if you are facing a lot of anxiety, okay? That would be the hardest stuff to do. Once you get over that, you can actually start to learn how to pick up chicks, okay? But the first step is to actually just, you know, have that conviction that if you see a girl you like, you go up and you approach. If you don't have that, pickup will be extremely difficult for you. So you have to have the conviction to, you know, if you see a girl you want to approach, you don't think, okay, should I? Maybe, maybe not. You know, she's on the phone. Oh, she's running. She's with a friend. She's talking to another guy, right? Are they together? Those are all excuses that you're giving yourself. If you see a girl that you like, you go up and you approach. And, you know, on the open, have a little joke, something to break the ice because that's important and that will help you to start the conversation well. There are a lot of more things that I could talk about in this end field. Uh, I could give a, a really massive deep dive into this, even though it's just a three minute interaction, but I'm not gonna do that because the video will be like 30, 40 minutes long. You know, this was just a quick breakdown. If you did enjoy it, if you got some insights into how social interactions work and how you can stop two girls on a run, then I would appreciate it if you guys left a like for the algorithm and if you would subscribe and hit the bell notification. There's already tons of content out on this channel that you can check out to help you with your social interactions with girls at Pickup. So do me a favor, do yourself a favor and subscribe. Anyway, thank you for checking out this video. That's it for me for this one. Peace out.